What is up guys? Today we're taking a look at MSI's Z270 SLI Plus motherboard. It's part of MSI's Pro Series and it's meant to be a value motherboard but give you all of those essential features. So to start out, this is an ATX motherboard and it keeps the same color design we've seen in the Pro Series from MSI. So you have an all black PCB with silver and black accents. Starting at the CPU socket, of course, we have Intel's LGA 1151 socket, and that is conditioned by a 10 phase all digital power design, which makes use of MSI's military class 5 components. There are heat sinks that cover all of those power delivery components, and they have some cool little silver accents on them. To the right of the CPU socket, you're going to find your four DDR4 DIMM slots. They make use of MSI steel armor, which not only looks cool, but better protects your memory as well. Moving to the far edge of the board, you'll find a four pin pump header, a four pin fan header, um, a row of debug LEDs to let you know kind of what's going on with your system, a 24 pin ATX power connection, and two USB 3.0 headers. One is facing up like normal, and then the other one is at a 90 degree angle. As we move down the board, you'll find six SATA 6 gig ports. Four are in the normal orientation pointing out from the board, while two are actually facing up, which is kind of weird. There's also another four pin fan header. At the bottom of the board is where you're gonna find the rest of your headers and connections. The main things to point out here is that we have two USB 2.0 headers, as well as another four pin fan header. At the far edge of the board, you're gonna find the audio solution, which is MSI's Audio Boost 4. This is an ALC1220 high definition audio processor with a built-in DAC. We can also see that MSI makes use of high-end audio components like the Chemicon audio capacitors. As we move to our expansion slots, we have three PCI Express X16 slots and then three X1 slots. The way the uh, slots work is that if you have one card installed, it's always gonna run at X16 speed. If you have two cards installed, they're gonna run at X8 each. And then if you have three cards installed, they're gonna run at X8, X8, and X4. The board does support both AMD Crossfire in a three-way setup and Nvidia SLI in a two-way setup. And you can see that the top two or the top largest slots, the two X16 slots do have that reinforced MSI steel armor. There are two M.2 slots on this board and they're PCI Express 3.0 X4 slots. So you're gonna get that really fast speed. The top one supports M.2 SSDs up to 110 millimeters, while the bottom slot is just a little shorter and supports M.2 SSDs up to 80 millimeters. Finally, we come to the rear IO and from right to left, we have a combination PS2 port, two USB 2.0 ports, DVI, two USB 3.1 ports, one's a type A and one is a type C, four USB 3.0 ports, HDMI, gigabit ethernet, which is powered by the Intel i219V and your audio connections. At the end of the day, I think this is a really great Z270 motherboard in its price range. Right now, it's selling on Amazon for about 135 bucks, which I'll go ahead and have that link below for you. But this gives you everything you're gonna want in a Z270 motherboard. So all of those core features. So if you support for dual graphics, whether it's Crossfire or SLI, you have USB 3.1 and you have dual M.2 slots. There's really not much else you could ask for in this price range. So I'll go ahead and have a link below to our full written review, which includes benchmarks and all of that fun stuff. So until next time, catch you guys later.